let's be honest, most of us have no idea how to use AI to actually be more productive. I mean, who would want to turn their Notion workspace into an AI image generator just to summon a horde of cute cats? I mean, that would be crazy, right? So enough with the same old AI card tricks. Here are 14 real life use cases of how you can start using Notion AI today that will save you at least 10 hours every week. First off, using Notion AI to supercharge your second brain. If you use the Readwise integration, the Notion Web Clipper or pretty much any way of how to save articles or information to your Notion, then this is an absolute no brainer. Go and add it right now. So for example, on my articles, right, I have the titles here and the author, and I just added this auto AI summary field. This is a default field, right? Which means you just click on plus and there you have it. You don't need to do anything else. And you see, if I go on here and I'll say, okay, please try on this view just to create a few samples. You see that for the top five articles, and I mean, I can do this for all as well, but for the top articles here, and I have immediately an actionable summary. So I don't need to read the whole thing again. The next four use cases are great for any knowledge worker, no matter which field you work in. But before we get to them, why not quickly subscribe to the channel because why not? Number two, using AI to quickly create sample data. There are so many situations at work where having quick access to sample data comes in really handy. For example, when you need to test a feature or when you need to create a mockup. Finally, no more lorem ipsum. So for example, here I need some sample customers reviews. So I just take this and then to uh, launch in Notion AI, you always only press the space bar and then I can paste it in here, hit enter and AI will write me a long list of various reviews with different sentiments that I can then use in other workflows. Number three, creating structured data within seconds. Thanks to AI, it's finally a thing of the past that you have to spend any time on organizing data in a specific way. Super simple, just use AI to structure it in whatever way you need it. For example, you can very quickly generate Notion databases. Let's say we have our sample um, reviews again, and I want to have them in a Notion database. Now, instead of having to copy paste them individually, I just take my prompt and I highlight the different reviews. Oops, let's do it like this. Uh, highlight them all, click on the six dots, say ask AI, and I give it the prompt. And now it will give me this table. It's a simple table, but we will wait a second. And now I will insert this below. And I can just click on the first row uh, on these dots and say, okay, this is a header row. And then I can click on this and say, turn into database. And here I have it, I have a Notion database with the information in here. Of course, it's just two rows, so that would have been fairly easy. But if you have a lot more rows, it's super simple to turn the data into a database like that. Or another thing that you could do is to create JSON. That's a very specific uh, structured data. But for example, if you need to run some code with that later, you could again, take the other prompt, highlight this again, click on the six dots, ask AI and ask it to create some JSON. While we wait for the JSON to load, if you want any of these prompts or a lot deeper dive into Notion AI, then definitely check out the link blog post in the description. In there, I have all the prompts for you and also a much deeper dive into how all of this works. Number four, organizing data, AKA never having to manually copy paste things ever again. Sometimes we don't need structured data, but it would still be nice to have the data organized in some way or form. For example, this list of 10 fictitious self-help books, I want it in an order by release date. So I take my prompt and I highlight them all and then I ask Notion AI, please, please bring it in the correct order. And then I can see uh, 2019, 18, 18. Well, this looks much better than before. Number five, having a personal TLDR assistant, AKA just getting all the information you need. Notion AI is also pretty good at finding information and extracting it for you. So for example, here we have five uh, fictional competitors and we want to just know the name and the product. So I would highlight this and again, with a list of five, that's easy. But if you have hundreds of them, this makes a lot more sense. And then I ask it to please list only the product name and the price. And there we have it. Or another example, if you have a very annoying work colleague and he keeps sending you emails and they have a lot of information and hidden inside there's some relevant stuff and you just can't bother reading all about Paul's latest weekend adventures, well, just let AI do the work for you. So I highlight this and I ask it, please, I don't wanna bother. I just wanna know what Paul wants me to do for work. And here are the three tasks and it ignores all the other things. Speaking of cool AI tools that actually have a use case, how about an AI tool that will make it much easier to find your next job? 
enter Kick Resume, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. Kick Resume is an awesome tool that will help you with anything that you need to land your next dream job. And they recently got an AI upgrade, which means that generating your new resume is as easy as typing in your job title and clicking one button. They've also got tons of amazingly designed templates, which, to be honest, make my old Word document look pretty outdated. Oh, and if you're active on LinkedIn, you should do two things. First, use their LinkedIn integration to save even more time when you create your resume and head on over to my profile and connect with me. Oh, and once you have your resume ready, you can even use Kick Resume to automatically find job offers on autopilot through the new matching system. Overall, a really awesome tool. And if you use the link in the description, you can get a 30% discount off your subscription. Now back to Notion AI. Number six, supercharging your knowledge management with auto summaries in wikis. Instead of using AI on individual entries, we can also use Notion AI at scale on a whole database through AI properties. We already saw that in the first example for the second brain, and we'll see it here again with these SOPs in our wiki. For example, what we can do, of course, we can create AI summaries. So that's very similar to what we already seen for the version with the second brain. We just get a quick summary of what the SOP is actually about. But the cool thing is we can also extract specific information. For example, if you want to see, okay, which tools are required for something, we can ask AI with a more specific prompt, uh, the AI autofill key info. And in here we can ask it to extract a specific part of the page. So in this case, I want to know only the tools that I use in here to make it an easier when I give access for someone, I know, okay, if they are supposed to do this, I need to give them access to these tools. So I try on this view and I see, okay, here I need Hootsuit and Buffer, here I need Mailchimp. Number seven, supercharge your sales team with personalized messages in your CRM. Time to get a bit creative. In the previous example, we saw that the AI properties can create summaries and extract key information from the page itself. But the AI properties also have access to the other properties in the database. Not to all, but to most of them. And through that, we can build something like this. So we can create personalized message in our CRM. So here we have a bunch of leads and we know what is their preferred solution. And we can use Notion AI to help us write a sales pitch. Now, here, of course, we can do a lot of prompt tweaking. So this is just a very simple example. You might want to make this a lot more precise for your specific use case. For example, also take into account the industry or use a certain style. But again, for this example, I will just go in here and I say, in this property, I would like to use the custom autofill, so my own prompt. And I will say that it's an expert salesperson and based on the preferred solution property, please write a short pitch for the product, a simple mug with a Notion sticker on it. And I can try it on this view and we'll take into account for the specific like cost-effective solution, IT needs, uh, and so on and so on. And of course, like with the simple uh, example where we don't give a lot of context, these might not be the best. We need to uh, probably improve on the prompt, but it's a great start. And you can see how having access to database properties can really, really leverage AI into some powerful workflows. Number eight, quickly generate hundreds of descriptions for programmatic SEO or product descriptions. Notion AI will come in particularly handy whenever you need to create similar sort of text at a large scale. For example, if you do programmatic SEO or need to write a bunch of product descriptions for hundreds of articles in your store. So in this example, we have a list of 14 cities in the US and we want to write some programmatic SEO for a food blog and we want just a quick intro for the city. So what I've done here for the intro AI, we have again our custom autofill and I've asked it to please write a one to two sentence presentation about a food scene in the city. And this would just be, you know, the very top part on the programmatic SEO blog right below the heading to make it more personalized and help rank on Google. So again, we just say try on view. And since it's a large language model and when it comes to like general questions, it's quite smart. It can tell us that New York City is famous for the pizza and daily sandwiches, whereas Chicago has deep dish pizza, hot dogs, and Italian beef sandwiches. Number nine, use Notion AI to hire your personal red team. This is a use case I'm particularly excited about. The problem you have oftentimes when you create or come up with new projects for the next quarter to reach your OKRs is that every team will come up with a few plans and then find very good arguments why this is a great idea. But you rarely take the time to actually take the other side and figure out, well, what are the arguments against this project? Why might this fail? So we can use AI to help us here. In this case, we have three potential ideas that we could use to increase our conversion rate for the next quarter. And in here, we have a bit of a program, right? And the, the concept and the arguments in favor. And now we've set up our AI 
um, properties to do two things. First, to play Advocatus Diaboli and actually find a uh, range of counter arguments where this is a very bad idea. And then another one with a slightly different prompt where we ask it to more look at risks. So this one would be just plain out, okay, what is against this project? And in case we do the project, what are things that we need to look out for and already account for so that we can um, address them before they happen. So let's run one of these. We can look at the prompt, right? A custom autofill. Uh, you are the internal red team. Please go through the project plan and list out three or more arguments against this. And we can try it on the view and then we can see why uh, these projects might not be as good. And that doesn't mean that you don't do them, right? But giving you a more balanced view of the pros and cons of an idea will help you make better decisions. And it's a lot quicker to do that with AI, at least to get you off the ground. Number 10, simplify your data management. We are back to our second brain, although you could use this approach for any situation where you need to categorize files. Tagging can often be quite a pain, in particular, having to go through things and figuring out, okay, what are the categories for this? Again, AI can help us with that. So here we ask AI with a custom uh, autofill to go through the article and then suggest up to three tags to categorize this. And then we can later use these tags to actually sort things. So let's try it on this view. And as we can see, we get a range of tags. Sometimes it includes the tags one, so then you might have to uh, do it again uh, in order to get rid of it or get a different format. Yes, this looks much better. And this is a plain text one, right? So you can go in here and write in that. And it's not something you can sort by, but you could then have another one on the side that is actually a tag one. Or you could at any time turn this property into a select one. And then if it's a comma separate list, all of them will be different tags in your system. Number 11, use Notion AI for information triage. Let's stay with the second brain and information management for just one more moment. You already know that there is far too much information out there for you to consume, even though all of it might potentially be helpful. So what if you could create a quick filter that helps you analyze whether something is worth your time or not? Well, enter AI. Again, instead of this time creating a summary, we will ask AI to evaluate the article, whether it actually has some novel ideas or whether it's just, you know, repurposing the same old, same old things. So in this case, our prompt will be that we want to have it evaluate for insights or repeated stuff. So we try it on this view. And then instead of just getting a summary, we will see whether this article is interesting. You can uh, add to the prompt right and say, okay, I'm particularly curious about ABC or please never show me ABC. And you see which ones are worth reading and which ones are more general and more used for beginners. Number 12, serve your customers better with this sentiment analysis. Remember our customer reviews where we used Notion AI to turn it into a database? Well, here it is again, and this time we will use AI to analyze how the customers feel about our products. Now, here's a use case where you can use, again, a lot of prompt fine tuning. You could, for example, ask only for feedback that is relevant to a specific department of yours. In this case, we will just try to get it to either give us a quick estimate, whether it's a positive or negative review, and then also for a number rating. So here, let's go into our property and it's a custom autofill and we wanted to analyze how the customer feels and to only answer with one word. Now, sometimes here, because there's a lot of prompting going in between uh, the Notion AI um, tool on top and then the LLM at the back end, sometimes you don't get exactly what you want for, so you might have to reroll, but here we got actually lucky and we have uh, the analysis that all of these are positive. Great, and now let's do the same for the rating. So here we ask it to only answer with a number. Let's see whether that sticks to the rules and we see yes, again, we have only numbers and all of them are positive. Number 13, accelerate your career with thought leadership. You've probably seen the videos of how content creators can use AI to quickly come up with 30 ideas for their YouTube shorts. But this is also a super crucial aspect of AI if you work in a more traditional field. Because establishing thought leadership and being known as a person who always thinks about the news developments and is able to explain these things both to colleagues and to clients, that's a super important skill to have. Now, if you've never done something like this, it can be quite daunting to get started. Or even if you generally know how it works, you might not have the time to come up with new ideas. So here is a quick exercise how you can use AI to come up with 10 topics that you can discuss on LinkedIn about your specific area of focus. So for example, Mara, senior associate lawyer specializing in energy related M&A. We take this, we ask AI, please come up with 10 LinkedIn things based on this bio. And we get this list, which is a decent list, right? This is a great way to start 
and you don't have to stop there, right? So we can could insert this below and then we could ask it for each of them, please create me a brief outline for this topic for LinkedIn post. Then of course you still have to go in and fill in your own stuff, right? If you just let AI write things for you, they will be more generic. They won't like have your tone of voice and won't help you establish thought leadership, but it's a great way so that you don't have to start with a blank page and get a head start when it comes to these things. And number 14, never take any meeting notes ever again. Wait, we actually don't have the meeting notes one in this one. Oh, shit, sorry. The meeting notes ones are actually in this video because it's a quite lengthy tutorial, but if you follow it step by step, you'll never have to take any meeting notes ever again. Sounds good? Here's the video.